As data science programs get more and more firmly established in universities, such as Mississippi State, as explained here, I advocate that geospatial technology is integral to data science. Big data, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and data modeling. Number one, those tenets are fundamental to the use of geospatial technology, remote sensing, GIS, GPS, or GNSS, web mapping, web mapping development. And secondly, the different disciplines that data science touches. Ditto for geospatial technology. So I advocate that in all data science programs that the geo part is held prominent. That's what my advice is to data science programs. For example, at Mississippi State, one of their concentrations in data science is geoinformatics. But I would also argue that geoinformatics and spatial thinking are fundamental to all of these things. Statistics, there's geostatistics, business decisions, logistics, supply chain, climate, sustainability, city planning, all of these things that require the use of a wide variety and volume of data. GIS has always been big data. Even before geospatial professionals were calling themselves big data, um, big data was always part. We always wanted a lot of satellite imagery, a lot of vector data, a lot of point line and polygon data, etc. So geospatial technology and spatial thinking should be a part of every data science program. And I salute Mississippi State, for example, for including it as a prominent part of their data science program. Every data scientist should have some spatial thinking and geographic information systems or geotechnology tools and skills and perspectives on their tool belt. That's my advice going forward for you as a prospective data science student, for you faculty teaching data science, I recommend that geoinformatics or GIS or geotechnologies be a part of your instruction and also used in your own research. Thanks.